Hey guys, so today we are making a video all about feed and I have been joined by India who is a spillers rep which is going to be really exciting so she can explain everything. Um, we're going to talk through what my horses are on, we're going to talk through different feeds say if you want like more energy or if you want to not give them so much energy. Um, yeah and I've also asked you guys to put some questions on my Instagram so we have hundreds of things that we can go through so let's get into it. <laughs> um, so at the moment we are stood where we keep all the feed and this is what we give our horses that is a lot more in the range but we're just going to talk through all of these um so you guys know what they are so shall we start with supple and senior balancer so the supple plus senior balancer is great for those that maintain weight easily on forage alone yeah it provides a broad spectrum of vitamins and minerals and it's high in things like vitamin E and vitamin C for immune health and muscle yeah. health and so respiratory health. It also contains pre and probiotics to support digestive health and it also has glucosamine, MSM and omega-3 for joint support. Oh. So, <laughs> so that's really for good. say they like keep weight well. Yeah. It's just like the minimum yeah, so, so they it's get minimal the calories but really nutrient dense. Very nice, cool. And then next we've got HDF power cubes. So these are kind of opposite end of the scale. <laughs> these are actually part of our racing range, but they're a really good high energy but controlled starch feed. So okay. for those that are working quite hard, perhaps don't maintain weight quite so yeah. easily, but need energy but with controlled performance. Nice. And then the next one is the HDF layoff cubes. So they're sort of a middle a middleman. So they they don't maintain weight on a balancer, but don't need all the energy and calories of a power cube. These are a good sort of high fiber, low starch cube. Again, full broad spectrum of vitamins and minerals, and good for those either resting or in light work or maintain weight easily. Yeah. So I know we have a lot of our babies on this because they're not in like very high work yeah, at the moment. Yeah. So it's a good way to give everything they need, but not too much energy. And next up, I know this is Sausage's favourite because it's like soup, <laughs> but this is Speedy Mash. Yeah, so Speedy Mash fibre is a really quick soaking fibre mash, smells gorgeous, smells like porridge with an apple aroma. Yeah. Um, it's, re it's really versatile, so you can use it instead of chaff, you could yeah. use it as a total hay replacer, really? you could take it to shows, yeah, so you can, yeah. if your horse has dental issues, can't eat so well, you can use it instead of hay and grass. Um, it's really good if you take it to shows if horses yeah. are travelling and they don't drink very well. That's what we do a lot of the time is give it to them before they travel yeah. or after. And it, at a show if they don't drink it's a good way to get no water. I'm sure board. also I've seen someone put like hot water in it and in the winter give it like a yeah, little orange. Yeah, nice warm mash. So yeah. <laughs> Um, and then next is Grow and Win Stud Balancer. Yeah, so that is sort of similar in terms of it's not going to add too many calories like this balancer, mm -hmm. but it's more targeted at broodmare, stallions, or foals, um, and up to about two years old. So that again gives targeted nutrition for that. I feel like I'm learning so much because when I does the feed, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> Um, so yeah, targeted nutrition without excess calories basically to support growth and development. Um, so next up is the original multi balancer. Yeah, so that's more of like a competition type balancer. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to the Supple Plus Senior in that it has pre and probiotics, it's high in antioxidants and it's got a full broad spectrum of vitamins and minerals and full of good quality protein but it doesn't have the added joint support. Amazing. And then the last one, oh the light and lean balancer. So that is aimed at those that are very good doers. <laughs> um, those that maintain either. weight very easily um, and those that are on a, perhaps a calorie restricted diet so if they can't have you know have restricted forage um, yeah. then it's got good levels of protein to make up for what they're not getting in the forage it's also got cinnamon phos and magnesium in there to support cinnamon yeah what? smells really good what does that do <laughs> it's to help support weight loss and a healthy metabolism does it i'm yeah. going to start on the i have cinnamon on my forage do you <laughs> i love that i'm actually going to do that okay so um next up is the fibers so let's start with the conditioning fiber so conditioning fibre is soft chop fibre chaff with lots mm -hmm. of oil, so the oil helps provide more calories while still being slow release energy and low in sugar and starch, um, and it contains a full broad spectrum of vitamins and minerals as well. Nice. 
Um, and then the daily fiber. So the daily fiber is a lower calorie chaff, doesn't have the added oil um, and doesn't contain added vitamins and minerals. So it's ideal if you're feeding a balancer, mm. uh, just a double handful to... And to do balance. you think it's important to put a fiber with like, um, so the cubes or the balancer? It's a really good way of extending eating time and bulking out the bucket. So if they are just yeah. getting a balancer, a chaff makes them feel like they're getting a bit more food without yeah. too many more calories. Definitely. Cool. So yeah, that is all the feed that we use. Um, we're now going to go and look at a few of the horses and tell you what we feed them and we're going to just get a few that are a bit different um, from each other and then also show you what we feed the yearlings because I know a lot of you ask me yeah, what we do with them, so let's go! So first up is the Fidgety Eagle, uh, he is a 10 year old and he's working at PSG. Um, also if you guys follow the vlogs a lot you will know that he suffered really badly with ulcers so we've had to be really careful what we feed him. So do you want to explain what he's on? So uh, Eagle's fed conditioning fiber and power cubes. So we've eaten enough. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, conditioning fiber is ideal because it's high in calories and high in energy, but low in starch and sugar. And the power cubes are good because again, they're a high energy cube with controlled levels of starch. So if ulcers are a problem, it's really good to, ideal to base the diet on as much fiber as possible, yeah. high fiber and oil if you need more energy and low cereal starch. Yeah, and also he is on um, an ulcer supplement to help him as well from Premier Performance, um, just to, yeah, settle them down. But that is what he's on. And you feel good, don't you? Some tips if you have got a horse that's, that's prone to ulcers is um, as, as much fibre as possible, really. Yeah. <laughs> Would you avoid haylage or? No, not necessarily. No, no. Um, uh, as much turnout as possible, so yeah. trying to reduce stress levels as well. So obviously, if they get stressed in the field, then yeah. you know whatever suits your horse best. Avoiding long periods without forage. Yeah. Um, and feeding a small fibre-based meal, so sort of half an hour before yeah. uh, riding them, can help just line the stomach. Yeah. So that creates a fibre mat in the stomach. So when the horses are moving, they don't get the the stomach acid splashing. Yeah, I didn't know which, that until obviously he had it, and then I was yeah. learning about that. I was like. That would that be so really uncomfortable. Help. Yeah, exactly. So that really helps. Cool. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so next up is Joey, and he is a five year old, and he is definitely a good doer. Um, he good has boy. always struggled with his weight. If he has, like, he had a week off when I went on holiday, I don't know what happened. Like, he was not eating that much. Um, so he has to be in a calorie controlled situation. <laughs> Um, so do you want to explain what he has? So Joey has um, the daily fibre, which is a low calorie fibre, um, great for bulking out the bucket and feeling like he's getting a bit more to eat, <laughs> which I think he's clearly enjoying, um, and the light and lean balancer, which is good for those that are on a calorie restricted diet and maintain weight very easily, um, to make sure he's getting all the nutrients he needs to support him in his work. but without excess calories added to his waistline. And then eventually, when he started to do more work and you want to put some more energy in, what do you reckon he should go on to? So his body condition is the best indicator as to whether he's getting enough energy in his diet. Oh, okay. So, so it's not necessarily when you're riding them? No, it's um, a lack of energy. It's, it's feed is obviously just one part of the equation. Yeah. Could be fitness, could be I think a lot of people rely on feed for yeah. the energy. And there's so many factors. Also the time of year when the seasons change, their yeah. you know, their energy levels either go very high so in the spring true. in the wind um, or quite low. Um, so yeah, it's, it's making sure that he's not overweight, he's got the right yeah. nutrition, so he's got balance. So if diet. they're lazy, don't just overfeed them? No, because energy and calories are the same thing. So yeah. if you're trying to get more energy, you can end up getting more weight, which can make energy levels worse. Yeah, that's so true, because when he's a little bit porky, he really struggles to, to do everything. And also like with the dressage horses to actually bend. Yeah, they um, need to be supple. And <laughs> Not You're not supple when you have that fat round your ribs. Um, but cool. some people find um, feeding a, a bit of a higher starch feed can yeah. help to create a bit more an excited or energetic response. Yeah. Um, the effect on individual horses is really variable, so it's, yeah. really, it's trial and error. Um, it's not something we'd recommend to any horse that has ulcers or prone to time yeah. or colic. But if you had a very laid back, good doer, having a little bit of a higher starch mix perhaps could just help 
but if it doesn't have any effect, feed may not be the answer. Yes. Use your legs, basically. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, next up is one of the yearlings, and this is Solomon, the newest addition. Um, a lot of people ask me if we give our yearlings any food, um, and we definitely do because it's really important that they get stuff and nutrients. Um, so do you want to explain what he is on? Yeah, so he's on the Grow and Win Stud Balancer, which is ideal for those that maintain weight quite well on lots of forage, but need the nutrition to make sure they grow evenly and, and develop well. Um, we recommend feeding a stud specific feed up to the age of two, and then from two years onwards, feeding a regular balanced diet in accordance to their body condition. So, and making sure if you've got a foal that you, you start them off on a small pellet or a chat. Oh yeah, so you do feed. feed the foals, yeah. Yeah, so, so we say from about three months, um, you'll yeah. find that the, the foal will start picking from the mare's bucket anyway. So it's quite good to try and establish them on their own feed, um, which is ideal if it's a small pellet like grow and win. Um, and then, then when the, the, that makes the weaning process a bit easier. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, maintaining their, their diet until they're two years old and then going on to... And how much of that, how much do you feed them of that? So they would have... Say, they on average. If, if you had a balancer, you would go for a grow and win, you would go 100 grams wow. per 100 kilos of body weight per day yeah. up until they are six months mm -hmm. and then six to 18 months 200 grams per 100 kilos of body weight so it doubles because that's kind of the time they're doing the bulk of their growing yeah and then from 18 to 24 months that drops back down to 100 grams and does it matter if you feed it like once a day or split that into two times a day does it make um, a difference because or? it's a small quantity it doesn't really matter you yeah. can do whatever suits you um you wouldn't want to feed a huge quantity if you were feeding yeah. a, a stud cube or a stud mix you'd want to split it into smaller meals yeah and the feeding rate is based on an estimated adult body weight oh okay yeah so, so if you think he's going to make 600 kilos then um he would be he'd be feeding according to that weight <laughs> cool awesome um so now i'm going to take some questions off my Instagram best feed oh best feed for veterans that also helps keep weight on over winter. Um, okay, so veteran just because a horse is older doesn't mean they definitely need a senior specific feed, hey. but it can help. Yeah. So um, we have something called senior super mash, which is a bit like the speedy mash but higher in calories. Yeah. So that's great for senior horses that don't maintain weight easily, can't eat forage so good well. Tea. Good on the teeth. <laughs> um, so that's like a conditioning mash, yeah. which is great for senior horses, or just a higher calorie cube if they can still eat. Nice. Um, yeah. Um, so, how much should I feed my horse? So, choosing the the right type of feed kind of mm -hmm. look at their body condition, the work they're doing, and their temperament. Yeah. So, if they're a good doer, um, maintain weight easily, you choose a balancer. In which case, that the feeding rate is 100 grams per 100 kilos of body yeah. weight. So, if you've got 500. And if you don't have a weigh bridge, how do you? It's kind of, you know, a weigh tape is useful. Yeah. So a weigh tape is a good way. It's not always 100% accurate, but it gives you a guide. Yeah. It's a good way of monitoring. And where do you use that? Do you do it? Um, so it's just behind the withers around yeah. the girth line. Um, and that's a good way of monitoring any changes. Yeah. If you're going to use a weigh tape, I would say do it at the same time of day each time yeah. because when a horse comes into the field they can have a lot of gut fill, they yeah. can look quite big and then sort of two hours later they've shrunk down. Yeah. So make sure you do it at the same time. And if you yeah. want to use a weight bridge, where can you find it? Uh, so we have a nutritionist out on the road who yeah. come to the yards of 10 or more. Yeah. Um, if 10 is a struggle, you get your friends involved, maybe yeah. kind of deal with it. Um, and we come out and yeah, weigh the horses, mm. body condition score them, offer nutrition oh, advice. Cool. Um, how much is it all? Prices can be found on the website, right? Yeah, all the prices are on the website. Um, nice. That was an easy one. Yeah. Um, so do you have to feed the recommended amount? So if you're feeding less than the recommended amount, um, you could feed a half ration of a balancer mm -hmm. to top up the nutrients. Uh, make sure that if you are doing that, your the feed does contain other vitamins and minerals. Some don't. Uh, so making sure that you're either 
feeding the full recommended amount to get a balanced diet alongside forage. If you're feeding half the recommended amount, half ration of balancer will top up the nutrients. Nice. Why do you like spillers? And how much have you fed it to them? Well, I'll do this one. Um, so why do you like spillers? Uh, we have always fed spillers. Mum's done it since, like, I can remember and she can remember. Um, it's just our preferred brand. And also the advice is really good for them. And we've just found that the horses really enjoy it. They're really happy on it. Um, so we just stick to what we like. Um, so how much food can you feed in one go? So we recommend no more than two kilos for an average horse in mm -hmm. one go because their stomach can't take that yeah. much, so it just gets digested. And some might be greedy. Yeah, exactly. Keep going. So yeah, um, so yeah, no more than two kilos in one go, less for both you. Do you feed your horses before riding or after riding? And if you feed them before, how long do you have to wait to ride? So if it was a sort of cereal-based meal, mm -hmm. you'd want to feed, leave it a good hour. Um, if it's more of a sort of double handful of chaff or a scoop of chaff, more like half an hour, and that's yeah. again a good way of lining the stomach yeah. before riding. Amazing. So if you were switching a feed over, um, how quickly do you do it? So we would say for an average horse, uh, swap 500 grams of old feed with 500 grams of new feed every other day. Yeah, so don't do just it. go straight in. Yeah, don't do it. You don't want to make any rapid sudden changes. Why is that? Just because they're not used to it? Yeah, and it, it disturbs the, the digestive system, increases the risk of colic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just not, not great. So over a, a period of, sort of two weeks, two to three weeks. And also with the forage as well, which can be challenging because yeah. obviously not everyone has the choice. Um, but yeah, trying to make changes in forage slowly. Like, like the hay and hay and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Cool. Awesome. Um, so we are just going to go and look at a new feed that India's brought for us to try. Yeah. What's it called? Digest, digest Plus Conditioning Cube. Oh, exciting. Um, yeah, let's have a look. So here it is, kids. Oh. Nice. So I'm trying to find somewhere to sit. Right, um, so do you want to tell us about the new one? So these are our new conditioning cubes. Brand new. Brand new. Uh, they are much lower in starch. Yeah. So the old one's 20%, these are 11.5%. Oh. And they have the lowest combined sugar and starch level comprehensive conditioning cube on the market. Wow. Uh, there's currently two pounds off the new uh, promotional stock and 10p from every bag sold is being donated to the Tim Stockdale Foundation. Oh, that's so nice. Which is really nice. That's amazing. Cool. So, um, which horses do you think we should put on that if we were going to try them? So, if you have ones that need to gain condition mm -hmm. and again, you don't want to cause kind of unwanted excitability, um, oh, or that's if they've good. got gastric ulcers, or if they tie up. Because yeah. it's hard, isn't it, when something's not putting on weight, but then you don't want them to get. Don't want to get them silly. Yeah. So yeah, these would be ideal for that. Amazing. Cool. I'm excited to try it. And they also contain pre and probiotics support digestive health. So Amazing. That's really why you've got the digestive. Yeah. So cool. Really okay, so I think that is everything. But if you guys have any questions, you can pop them in the comment box below. And also, if you want us to cover anything in more detail, then I'm sure we can make another one, can't we? Yeah. Um, but if you want to contact Spillers about maybe having them out for some advice or yeah, just that you want to try some of the feed, how they got hold of you? So you can get uh, through the website, mm -hmm. fill in a form, or you can call us in the office, call yeah. the care line, um, or our Facebook page. Amazing! Well. So super easy to get hold of. So yeah, give them a call. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, if you have, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to share it. Subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you for the next one.